Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can bundle an Express and React project together for deployment. If you're familiar with my channel, you may have seen another video where I showed you how to set up a React and Express project so that you can communicate between the Node server and the React frontend. However, those videos merely covered a setup process, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to bundle the two. Before we get started, I would like to provide an overview of what we'll be doing so that you're watching the right video. So first and foremost, I have this basic V starter web page and it is currently running on the React server. And what this video will aim to do is to give you a general idea of how you can serve this front end on a node backend running Express.js so that you can deploy an entire web app that handles both the front end and back end on one server. Now, please do note that you should only watch this video once you've completed developing your web app. This video is not a video that goes over project setup. And if you'd like to see a project setup, please see the video linked in the cards on the top right corner of your screen. Additionally, if you have any relative API requests that you are making from your front end to your back end by calling an API endpoint, you may have to alter the endpoint URL if needed. And typically, when developing, we're making relative requests to localhost, whereas with production, you may have, uh, may have to set a state within your application where the requests call a production endpoint. So now that we have that information clarified, let's begin. So in my code here, I have a route with an endpoint with a forward slash, and you may have multiple endpoints to handle application functions, and that is totally fine. I just don't have any because this is simply a demonstration. And this API endpoint is first called when we access our application. So if I go back to my web page here and access the localhost at 8080 um, and access forward slash, you can notice that we receive the JSON data displaying message as hello world, okay? And our goal is to serve this React front end on just this one endpoint here. Now you may be wondering, what if your React app has multiple pages? In that case, this will still work because when you create a React app build, the entire web application loads only one HTML page in the browser and dynamically updates its content based on user interactions. So if you have multiple pages, usually libraries like React Router will handle routing and dynamically update the content and any functions of your site that require API calls will be handled by your other endpoints. So if you were to use YouTube and visit a channel's content, the web page itself is not reloading, rather it's being dynamically updated and the data that's displayed is returned from a backend API endpoint. So now that I've provided some clarification, I'm going to head back into my editor and stop both my servers and I will show you how to create a production build of your React app. So I've cleared both of my terminals and inside of my terminal within the client directory, I'm going to run npm run build to create a production build of our React application. And upon completion, you should see a new directory titled dist that includes the assets to your application as well as one HTML file that includes everything rendered by your application. And this HTML file contains the single page React app where everything is rendered on one web page. And now that we've completed this step, we just need to serve this file on our Express backend. So now I'm going to start writing the backend code to serve the React frontend. And I'm going to first write the code and I'll commentate as I write, but I'll explain to you what it means once I'm completed. So first I'm gonna do const path is equal to require path to import path. And then I'm going to write app.use express.static path.join underscore underscore dir name dot dot client slash dist. And then I'm going to update this forward slash route to include an asterisk. And I'm going to remove the res.json and replace it with res.send file path.join dir name. And then I'll just paste this here and I'll add index.html at the end. So ultimately I added three lines of code and updated an existing one. So first I imported path and I'm using the app.use middleware and the reason for this is to serve static files like index.html. And then I made an update to our existing route on forward slash and changed it to forward slash followed by an asterisk. 
And the reason I did this was to ensure that unmatched requests like client side routes load the HTML file. And this setup prevents single page app routes from interfering with backend API endpoints by prioritizing static and API routes. And lastly, I added this res.send file, which explicitly sends this index.html file to render in the browser. Okay. So essentially we're allowing our backend to serve static files with this line right here. And then with the forward slash asterisk, we're telling our backend that if we have incoming requests that don't match an API endpoint, which I'm sure you may have since this is a web application, then we want to load the index HTML file that contains our React application. And also if you're wondering what this path.join dir name client dist index HTML means, it dynamically resolves the path to the disk directory relative to our server script. Okay, so now let's run our server by doing npm start. And what I'll do is I'll access our previous hello world webpage. And this is what our previous webpage looked like. And I'm going to refresh the page now. And now you can notice that we are serving the same React application on our backend server. You can interact with it the same way as you would before. And if we attempt to access other routes like home, for example, it's going to render the same page since the home route is not configured in our server file. So we know that this forward slash asterisk um, route is also working correctly. And with that said, this concludes um, the video. So if this video helped you in bundling your React and Express application together, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please feel free to leave them in the description below or email me and I would be happy to help. With that being said, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.